mean, the, the hard part of any kind of distributed replication is dealing with those failure cases yeah. and especially dealing with the un, um, the implicit failure cases like, hey, I tried to do this and I just got a yeah. timeout. Like, did yeah. it happen or not? Well, I don't know. Um, and so from, you know, from the replication perspective, there are a few things that can happen. Uh, you know, the first one is you call journal and you say, write this blob of data for me. And it says, yes, done. <laughs> Easy, done. Okay. Uh, it can say, no, I can't do that for whatever reason. E again, easy, done. You don't like that because it's it's a it's a reduction uh, in uh, availability of the system, but it doesn't have any safety properties. Then, you know, there is a case where you start, you know, sending that data to journal and on the client side, on, on, on the producer side, you crash or timeout or, or, or something. Uh, and then finally, there's the case where, you know, something happens on the network between them. And so you send that final byte, you say, commit to the journal, and that you, do, you don't get a response. Um, and this, this is something that we've spent a lot of time on and was one of the huge benefits in, in, for us for building on this journal that we've used in S3. We use it in DynamoDB. We use it in Kinesis, kind of across AWS's data portfolio. Um, because we've had time to really work through those edge cases, really design those protocols. Uh, and so I can't really go into the detail of exactly how that, you know, how that protocol works, uh, but there are two things there that, that are important. You know, one of them is, yes, it's broken up into pieces and you have to have this kind of final trailer saying, okay, we've all agreed that this is, is, is now durable and, and atomic in the journal. Um, and you know, to make sure that protocol is right in all of these strange failure cases, we've spent a lot of time on formal modeling. We built models in, in languages like TLA plus, in P. Um, you know, we've used uh, formal tools on, on the Rust code that the stuff is implemented in uh, to make sure that those protocols um, are safe, you know, have this effect, this atomic effect, have, have this durable effect that we depend on, you know, no matter what those failure cases are. 